Building a large multi-step onboarding form in Bubble can be really tedious. You can technically do it all in Bubble. You know, you can hide different fields, show different parts of your form based on data that your users have provided. But if you're building an MVP, you can end up spending so much time just building the form that you need to gather in all of the basic information about your users. And then you might find that you have to change that in the future and you have to go back and rework it. This can be so much easier. We're gonna be demonstrating in this bubble tutorial video how you can use a service like Tally, which is a third party form builder, how you can send your users from just fresh registering in your bubble app to Tally, where you, it's so quick to build a multi-step form with so many conditional statements. Then you can send that data back into your bubble app uh, via a webhook and continue your user's journey. Basically, you're outsourcing the tedious process of designing all of those itty bitty little form elements and we're gonna be doing it all in Tally and you can do most of this with the free account with Tally. You will need a paid account with Bubble in order to get your webhooks to work. Before I do that, I want to tell you about our Black Friday deal. Head over to our website. There's a link down in the description because we're bundling everything that we've created, all our courses, all our tutorial videos, all in one amazing Black Friday bundle. So to grab that and accelerate your Bubble app development journey, click the link down in the description. I'm gonna start by showing you just how quickly we can get a multi-step form together in Tally. It's basically, if you've ever built a Notion document, it's like Notion, but for forms. So we're going to call this one onboarding. And then I just go down and I can start adding in form elements and I can use backslash. Uh, so you can go from questions down to layout blocks. I mean, it is all here, input blocks. So uh, let's ask a, uh, in fact, oh, they've reordered this. Let's. Basically, you can pair an input with a, uh, a header or a label for it. That's what I was trying to do. Uh, so question, this is it. So I want the question and the input block. Uh, so we can ask a question here and we could say, um, let's imagine I'm doing an onboarding for Planet No Code. So I could say, tell us about the startup you are creating. Okay, and then I've got my nine input. And of course, I've got all of the different uh, features you'd expect from a form builder. We can have min max characters, we've got default answers, we've got required, look at automatic updates to label. Okay, and then all I need to do is just hit enter and now I'm onto my next block. And so let's make this a multi step form. So I think I can just go ahead and add in a new page and it then changes it from a next, from a submit button to a next button. Uh, now let's say add in another form uh, element. And in fact, we will do a linear scale. So I can ask to say, uh, how experienced are experienced are you with bubble.io? Okay, and then I think we can do even more things here, which is that we can add in a, a left label. So we can say, uh, no, ex uh, we can say beginner. Okay, and we could say expert. Yeah, this is just, it looks amazing, doesn't it? Forms that you can build in uh, Tally. Uh, right, so let's now add in uh, add in another page. So we'll go page, add new page. Uh, and we'll do one more. What else can I show off here? We could say uh, ranking, okay? So then this is drag and drop. So we can say um, uh, which uh, rank these web, rank these no code web site builders. Okay, and then I can just say Webflow. I could say, oh, do I have to press enter? There we go, I have to press enter. I could say Webflow, I could say Bubble, I could say Wix, I could say WordPress. Okay, and then this is how quick it is. I just go preview. Now remember these are required fields, so I'll have to write something in there. I'll have to pick something, go through, and oh, I need to rank, drag and drop to rank these. Perfect, submit. Okay, that's it. Uh, so. I, my now task is how do I link this in with my bubble app? I'll just go back to, do, 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 I've lost my place. How would I go about, oh, I'm in the editor. It's it's like Notion, I'm in the editor, I'm in the editor. So um, I can link this through to my bubble app using a webhook and I'm gonna cover that for you in the next video.